Hello. Is anybody out there? Is there anybody out there? My name is Pipe720. I'm just getting started with this live streaming stuff, so um, hopefully some folks join. I think the last one I did on YouTube, nobody joined. But this is kind of a test. I'm not really advertising these things. Um, you know, I'm just testing out the equipment and making sure that everything works. At some point, I'm going to publish a schedule and, you know, put a little bit more promotion into it, we'll say. But I'm going to play nine songs. And uh, the first one is called It Doesn't Snow in Virginia Anymore. This song is out now. <clears throat> it doesn't snow in Virginia anymore. It's only The smoke, the haze, and humidity from all the burning trees. Earthquakes in mineral like never before. Shaking all we see. It doesn't snow in Virginia anymore because there's too much heat. song done it's given me a warning that something about the bit rate I don't know everything looks fine see that's the type of thing that I'm testing if it doesn't break I figure it's okay um, but you know I uh, the last live stream I did I had <laughs> I ended up having a horrible um, echo throughout the rest of them, but it was a, it was a Twitch live stream, and uh, there was a horrible echo because I was like viewing the live stream um, in the computer that I was streaming from. So I think like the audio was feeding back into the inputs. I mean, it's a complicated setup here. This is why I need to test, um, you know, make sure everything's working fine. Anyways. The next song is called Demons, and it's about dealing with your inner demons. It 
If you see me disappear, it's because I'm working to set up the loop and, you know, tweak all the sounds and everything. Everything I do here is live, uh, except for the drums. Obviously, you don't see me playing the drums, but I'm going to build the loops. I'm going to sing the songs. You know, the drums are just drum loops. Got to find the right bassy sounds here. Nothingness and nothing less. They're closing in. 
I'm in duress, I'm shaking, the thoughts I'm making, it's aching, so much to keep from breaking! All right, that is unreleased, that's my latest. Hopefully soon I'll have another latest. I'm working on writing a song right now. I've just got lyrics so far and an idea, kind of like a concept. But sometimes I think getting the concept, that idea is the hardest part, I think at least for me. Just to have a theme for a song, like an idea, a good idea that I think is like going to be compelling. And then after that, it's just like hard work. I kind of have a process that I follow. And I just follow the process and, you know, usually the first draft is not good. And then I make it a little bit better and a little bit better. And a lot of what you see I'm doing here, like I keep working my songs. Um, you know, if I think of something that'll make a song better, I'll change it. If I think of a way to change the guitar tone or to use a different note on the vocal melody, or things like that, you know, I'm going to change it if I think it's going to make it even marginally better. So that's part of what this is. This is my rehearsal. And you're welcome to attend. You're here at my rehearsal. So um, anyways, my next song is called Unprovoked. It's a hardcore punk song. So it's going to be heavy. It's a bit of a fan favorite. It's been out for a while. Um, and then after that, I'm going to chill it out a little bit. It's going to get a little bit more mellow. So anyways, I'm going to set this up. You're going to see me set it up down here on the camera above, but I'm actually working down at my feet here. So unprovoked.
got a drop D. I've still got my demon voice. Yeah. <laughs> that sound right? Does that sound like an E? Yeah, I like to use harmonics to tune live. You know, I guess it's better to use a tuner these days because they're so much more accurate. Back in the day, I would only use my ear to tune because the tuners were so crappy in the 90s that you would follow the tuner. You'd have this like analog, di I had this like analog dial thing that would go back and forth. Like It was good when I was first starting out, but there was a point where it was just like not accurate enough. They say, trust your ears. Trust your ears. All right, the next song is a little bit more chill. This is this was actually the first song I ever released. Um, when I released it, it's a it was a, I released it as a guitar song. It was very intense guitar solos, you know, lots of yelling and stuff. Really fun. I did an official video on the DC Mall, like in front of the White House, in front of the Capitol. It's called "What Have We Become." It's still my favorite video that I've ever made. Uh, it was just a really wild day. Um, but I recently rearranged it to make it more mellow and more chilled out and I think a bit more of a resigned tone. Um, you know, because things have happened since I wrote it. I wrote it towards the end of 2020 and I released it at the start of 2021. So it's been, you know, it's been three, three years and some change. And... Uh, I'd say I'm less angry about the state of things in the world today. Um, a bit more accepting. I would say less angry and just more disappointed. So that is why I rearranged it this way. That's the way, way it sounds. Is it's a bit more resigned, the disappointed tone of a song. This is called What Have We Become. Just pretend 
I actually posted a 15 second clip of that song for today. So that was What Have We Become. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thanks to one of my first streams on this platform. It's the, technically the second one, um, but we're working out the kinks here. The next song is called Save Yourself from Your Zombie Ex Girlfriend. It's like a pop punk song, um, and uh, I posted a loop and let my followers tell me what to write about, and I took every single suggestion. So every single suggestion was, um, so it's a little nonsense, it's a little crazy, but it's a lot of fun. Um, so I'm, and I'm gonna change instruments during this song. So you can watch me build the loop, and then we're gonna rock out, okay? So save yourself from your zombie ex-girlfriend.
sound just right. So, we're going to do one more heavy song, then we're going to chill it out, okay? This is called Make Me Stronger. Is that a good E? Does that sound good? Close enough for rock music, right? Close enough for 90s rock music. All right. So the next song is my latest release. I'm going to get out of this distorted voice and into the normal voice, normal-ish. Um, this next song is called Waiting for the Train. This is why I have the, uh, the train background here. 
See, I'm looking at a green screen, right? So I don't really actually see the video. But I took this video when I was on the metro here in Northern Virginia, and this is the train into Washington, D.C. So coming from Fairfax, going into D.C. And that's right out the front of the train. Um, there's a conductor there. Uh, I think they're on the left. So I thought it was really interesting that, you know, I'm right there and we're, it's kind of like a 10 second clip. Um, but anyways, this song is called Waiting for the Train. That's why there's the train. I'm always promoting my music. It's the latest song. So without further ado, I'm going to set it up. And you can see what I'm doing down here. This is one of my more simpler setups. Um, so, waiting for the train. was waiting for the train. So uh, it's a song I wrote for my wife. It's my latest single. And uh, I, got, I got three more songs left. So let me know how you're doing. Say hi in the chat. Or don't. Just listen. That's fine, too. So the next song I'm going to sing also released in 2023. Um, yeah, 2023. It's called Feel Good. I hope it makes you feel good. I tried to make something upbeat. You know, a lot of my songs are pretty dark. I like dark music. But every now and again, I try to write a song for the people. 
So I wrote a pop song. A happy pop song, but the bridge is not happy. <laughs> so you'll have to listen to it. And I do my best to keep it happy uh, with this song, but I just couldn't hold it together till the end. Don't it make you feel good now? Da, 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 da. Don't it make you feel good now? 
Oh yeah, Indonesia. That's cool. How's everything there? How's the weather? What time is it even in Indonesia? It's about, um, it's like 55 degrees. I'm not sure if that, what that is in Celsius. I'm not sure if y'all are on Celsius, but it's kind of cool, breezy. It's about, what is it? It's 7.15, so it's getting a little dark, but you know, it's Friday. I'm doing my thing. Uh, just got done with work. Yeah, tell me what, what part of Indonesia? Uh, tell me what the weather's like, what the, what's the time like? So, okay, yeah, thanks for coming by. Thanks for stopping in, listening to a song. See you next time. Definitely hit me up if you ever want to chat. I appreciate you. Um, so I'm going to do one more song. So this last song is called Before I Go. Uh, it is uh, a song I wrote for my kids. So a two and a half minute song I wrote about my life's lessons. And uh, fittingly, I end my sets with it. So it's usually the last song in a set. And it's also the first song I wrote with a loop pedal. And then I started writing all my songs with a loop pedal. Before I go. song pretty much I mean unless there's anyone out there that wants to hear one more I actually accidentally skipped a song in my set so you know I figure I spent a lot of this time with with nobody in the room 
Someone's here now, so I'll spin up one more song, the one song I forgot to do. It's called A Broken Music Box. It's pretty soft and relaxed, so it's definitely the most subdued song that I have. Um, and you can see me set it up down here. I'm going to build a loop and then sing through it. A broken music box. It sounds like a broken music box, which is why I named it that. It also, it's about a caregiver trying to care, care for somebody who's not doing well. Those tiny frets, they get me every time. It's hard to see you feel like you do. I'll do one. 
Hey, Alex. Yeah, the algorithm thinks you'll like it. Like this. I hope you do like it. If you don't, that's okay too. My music isn't for everybody. But is this the same Alex that uh, that watched my TikTok live stream? Hey, Earl. It's good to see you. I saw. I remember you. I remember your comment. Um, you know, I really appreciate you. Pr appreciate all the support. Oh, Alco. You know, I'm still figuring out the uh, the YouTube live stream. I need to like increase the font or maybe just bring the monitor closer. Thanks so much, Earl. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, this is actually the end of my set, but it's crazy because like there wasn't anybody here for the longest time, which is okay. I mean, I didn't advertise it or anything, but if you if you want to hang around, I'm happy to play another song. I, I do not do covers, so I'm pretty stubborn about that. I do like a lot of, um, I mean, I just do original songs. I, try, I decided to focus on original songs. I have released a few covers. Um, I've released a couple of Nine Inch Nails covers, and I released a Filter cover, and a Killers cover, and a cover by Palais Royale. But I don't perform them. Um, Go for it. Okay, so would you guys rather hear something heavy or something softer or would you want to hear something on the guitar or the bass? I think I'm going to do one more song. Um, I, already, uh, I already played this one earlier, but I'm going to play it on the bass. It's called What Have We Become? It's a lot more relaxed. Oh, you want something heavy? Okay, I can do that. I'm gonna play a song called Unprovoked. It's a hardcore punk song. Drop D. All right, so we're gonna shred for a little bit. It's funny, every time I ask, you like my demon voice? Every time I ask, you know, people usually say they wanna hear something heavy. So I'm gonna, so I have these cameras down here, so you can watch me set up the loop. So I'm gonna build the loop and go into the song, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be loud.
Thanks so much for hanging out. Yeah, I think that's about all I got in me. I've been on the, on the live stream for about an hour and a half now. Thanks so much. Yeah, uh, that, song, that song is out on streaming services. I did a video. I released it in 2021. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for hanging around. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I was playing to an empty room for a while. Uh, so it was, I'm so happy that you all joined. Um, I'm used to playing the empty rooms, you know. I've been a, a, an indep independent musician for a long time. Would I, would I ever want to do collapse? Maybe, potentially. So well, uh, I'll have to check out your stuff, check out your channel. But yeah. Hey, Ruben. Oh, thank you so much. I'm really glad you like it. I'm really glad you like it. So, um, yeah, I think that's going to be it. It's going to be it for me. I mean, I'm, I'm really happy that you all joined for a little bit, uh, but my voice is pretty much gone. <laughs> yeah. Talk to you later, Alco. Nice meeting you. Hope you and I hope everybody has a, a good night, a good weekend, and I'll talk to you soon. Hit me up anytime. You can find me on, I mean, obviously on YouTube, but I'm on TikTok and Instagram and like all the other platforms. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'd definitely like to hear what you got, Earl. Earl. That'd be cool. What do you play, Earl? Yeah, have a good one, Ruben. All right, yeah, yeah, Earl, just hit me up. Let me know what you what you got, what your what sort of things you're playing. Guitar, guitar and synth. Okay, you have stuff on your channel. I didn't do any slap today, so I'm gonna have to do that. Work that into the set somehow. Love to solo on that song. Yeah, yeah it's in D. Nothing on your channel music wise? Okay. All right. Well, well, I'm going to get going, but I'd love to hear your stuff some at some point if you get a chance. Um, I mean, my music's out there. You know, I've got videos and things, and I'm out on Spotify. But um, yeah, um, have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you soon.